but he works on the railway. In 1842, from Hartlepool, I moved to Crow, found myself a job to do. Now, the trouble with stair spindles is they're spindly and they get broken. Now, I've just been given this one as a pattern to make some new ones, which I've done. But then I thought, can I repair it? Um, obviously, the repair is going to depend on where the break is. This one is fairly straightforward because it's on the taper. So... My thought is if I put a block of wood in here, doweled into either end, then I can then recut that taper. That does give me a problem in that this is being a real spindle, it's um, already cut. So putting it on the lathe could be difficult. But we'll figure that out. Let's find out if this can be done. Okay, so we're going to start off on the bandsaw. And we need to take a measured amount of timber away from this. So if I put it there. Grab my ruler and a pencil. This is actually a centre finding ruler. And I say, I want to take thirty mil off in that direction, and thirty mil off in that direction. Then I need to put a sixty mil plug back in. Um, I think that's possibly a bit excessive. So let's go. 20 in either direction. Yep, 20 in either direction will do me. There's a bounce will cut there. And a bounce will cut there. I mean, two nice neat ends. <clears throat> Going to use the guide to keep it square. Now I've got two nice cut ends. They obviously don't fit together because they're tapered. Now the thought, logic in my thought is if I put a larger piece here and cut it down, then it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. So alignment is near enough. Okay, so what I have here is a 40 mil section that needs to go in for the bits I cut out. And I've drilled a hole right through the middle. Now I could use a dowel here, but because I can't get the stair spindle under my pillar drill, what I'm going to do instead is glue a screw in either end with epoxy resin. And then I can screw that onto the um, spindle. Um, bit of wood glue as well just to aid it along and then screw the other half to it so I should end up with a good secure uh, fitted piece which I can then turn to shape I 
I'll do this on the lathe bed simply because this is where the cameras are set up. But... Double ended screw block rather than a dowel is because this is too big to go in my pillar drill, which means I can just use a hand drill. Drill a, a loose pilot hole. The reason the pilot hole is the size it is, is camera. These ends need to be in position. Show that we glue up between the two ends. And screw this into place. And then screw the other end into place. So I've done that, I need to make sure that my two ends are flat on the board and the angles are facing the right way. And just leave that to dry. Now I've got a lathe, obviously. So I'm going to put this back on the lathe. I'm going to turn that piece of wood down to line up with the um, spin door as it should be and it should be an invisible mend. If you don't have a lathe then you could always just chisel that away and then sand it down into place and you'll have a mended spindle without a lathe. And I still have a problem to resolve because that isn't going to work. I'm going to try just a piece of timber cut to make that back the square again. Put the right way around. I'm just going to fix that with a bit of masking tape. If this doesn't work, I could always use a bit of hot melt glue. Just temporarily tack it down on the end there. Or you can just run a drill through it and um, put a screw in there. I don't want to do that because that would be in the way. So now I have a couple of square ends ready to go back on the lathe. Back on the lathe, steady rest in place, and I have added another couple of wraps of masking tape because at the end of the day, that's effectively all that's holding on to this lathe is the masking tape. 
and I would be cutting gently because of that. So let's uh, fire it up, bring the speed up. Not the best repair in the world. Um, it's been a slightly warped. It's probably down to me getting it slightly out of line when I glued it. But it's cut, it's sanded. A little bit of uh, buckwood maple syrup as a sealer. No, it's not really. Really, it's just cellular sanding sealer. It's going on there as a primer more than anything else. But note, what's actually holding this on the lathe is masking tape. Not the ideal paint, but uh, only white I've got. Well, that's it. One repaired stair spindle. Not totally happy with it. My original plan was to take some of this um, threaded bar I've got, cut a length off of that and use it as a dowel. Because it didn't fit the drill press, I changed the plan. I don't think I should have done. I, think I should have stuck with the first plan. So if I ever get another one to repair, that's what I'll be doing. It's repaired, it works. It doesn't need a lathe to be done. Um, you could do it with um, chisels and a sanding disc or something. But holding on the lathe with masking tape was fun to do. And thanks for watching. Please hit thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And See you on the next one. Cheers for now.